decided to self-level your floor using some self-leveling concrete. Me too. And uh, you poured it and found out the hard way. Self-leveling concrete does not self-level. It's more of like a trowel leveling concrete that self smooths, at least in my experience. So you're probably watching this video because you screwed up a self leveling concrete pour and you're looking for a solution to what you're gonna do about it. Uh, I'm doing the same thing. I'll show you what I got going on. I put the timestamps in here just in case the video is a little long for you. So you can just jump to the section you're interested in. I poured this self leveling concrete and I, you can kind of see here, I've got this, you know, it's hard to see on video, but this drops down. We've got holes in it. I've got all these things on the floor where I've marked the actual level. This is all high. This is all low. It's just, it just didn't do what I thought. So right there is a spot I took an angle grinder and I ground this down a little bit. It created a ton of dust. It was terrible. I consider myself a, a decent DIYer. Uh, I've done a lot of projects of all types, working on from working on vehicles to renovations. I've done a lot of stuff. I generally do a lot of research before I do a project and I don't know why I didn't research self-leveling concrete that much and there couldn't be a worse thing to not do right because now I basically feel like I have two options from what I found. I can grind down the high spots, super dusty, super nasty, and honestly I don't even know if that's going to work because I don't know how I'm going to get that level. Or I can chisel it away and try again or I can call it a professional. I'm not going to call it a professional. I'm just going to keep suffering through the process. But what I'm going to try to do is chisel it away. Uh, I have an air hammer that I bought off Harbor Freight a couple years ago for taking some stone out and I found this two inch chisel on Amazon. Uh, if I remember, I'll stick a link down in the, in the um, comment or in the uh, video description. But I'm hoping this, this, uh, this is a two inch um, thing. I'm hoping that this is strong enough to uh, chisel up this concrete and I'm going to basically go around and chisel this out and um, try again and trowel the self-leveling concrete into the areas that I know are low and then um, let it self smooth as it does and see how it comes out. Uh, I just, I didn't work fast enough. I didn't realize how the stuff worked and I ran out of time and I, I just I just screwed it up bad. So anyway, uh, I'll take a couple shots of me chiseling it out, let you know how it goes. But the first thing I'm gonna do is um, protect my brand new tub I just put in and my brand new cabinets that I just painted in hopes that I don't destroy them in this chiseling process. But uh, I'm, I'm not excited. This is gonna be a horrible job. So I hope you're not in the same boat as me, but you probably are if you're watching this video. Okay. I'm prepared, as prepared as I'm gonna be. Um, right here I've got my uh, air hammer, and then this is the chisel I bought, and this is the chisel that comes with it. So uh, again, I bought this at Harbor Freight. I, I don't remember how much they are, they're like 10 bucks. I don't know if it's gonna be strong enough or not, but we'll see. This is how I prepared the room. I basically just covered the tub with a big piece of cardboard, because I'm still gonna need to get down here, but I just don't wanna fling pieces of concrete into the tub. And then I just cover the cabinets, you know, as much as I could with some cardboard on the finish side and um, up this cabinet. And then I don't know how dusty this is gonna be. I did cover the tub just in case it's dusty. Uh, if it gets too dusty, I'll probably um, run some kind of shop back or something. But I'm gonna leave the walls uncovered and I'm just gonna chisel up closely to them. I'm basically gonna start here on this edge and work that way. I think this was my high spot on my floor. So I'm gonna chisel down to that and then if the other spots are level with that or lower, I'm not gonna chisel them out because I don't wanna have to build back up to them. But if they're higher than this high point here or they just look really bad, I'm gonna chisel them out. One more thing before I get started. 
sorry, I got earplugs in, so if I'm talking loud, that's why. Um, this job's gonna be uh, messy and um, probably dusty, so respirator. Wear a respirator, even if it's just one of the cloth ones, wear something good. This is during the COVID-19 pandemic. You can't buy these to save your life, so hopefully you have a respirator around your house. Um, gloves, wear gloves. Don't wanna cut your hands. I got earplugs in and I'm gonna wear these also. And then uh, eye protection, super important. Uh, make sure you wear all that stuff because this is probably gonna kind of go everywhere and you just don't wanna risk it. So make sure you wear that. Additionally, I'm gonna use a small pancake compressor, just a six gallon Bostitch. Um, just to get started, this guy right here. And uh, that is um, not the compressor I would recommend. I'm gonna just try it out and make sure it works. And then if it does, um, and it's going too slow, I'll, I'll go get the one in the garage. I got a 50 or 60 gallon in the garage. But I don't wanna pull that out until I know this is gonna work. So run your stuff up to about 90 PSI, hook the chisel up, and let's see how it does. Okay, uh, I've done about 0.5 square feet. It's taken about seven minutes. So the bathroom's probably 80 square feet. So it should take like 10 hours. It's super depressing. But anyway, uh, one of the big problems I have is the compressor's too small. So I'm gonna go hook up the big one and that's gonna save me some time. And I think just uh, getting used to how the chisel works. Um, will help. Uh, it's probably a little bit underpowered chisel for this job. Uh, you can tell where the primer is on the wood. That that concrete is sealed right to that wood, so the, the primer worked. Um, I'm having trouble not chiseling the wood and chiseling just the concrete. So I think just with a little bit of experience doing a couple more pieces, I think I'll get better. But I think it's going to work. It's just going to take a long time. So I'll keep going. I'll uh, videotape as much as I can. And um, I don't know, I can't turn back now. I already started, so here we go. Saturday morning, I broke out the 30 gallon compressor. That little tiny pancake just wasn't doing it. And I needed a couple days off because I actually had to do some work. So back on Saturday morning, um, we're going to see how far we can get on this with the big compressor. I have found one tip. This chisel is kind of angled up. I think it's to keep it flat so you don't dig in, but I've actually found if you flip it over, it works a little bit better. So I don't know. I'm just kind of playing with the chisel, trying to, trying to get faster. I've probably only got a square foot done, but we'll see how this goes. You'll see here, I did decide to change over to the um, chisel that came with the air hammer from Harbor Freight, and it actually winds up working a little bit better. Okay, the small chisel, uh, it seems a little bit better. It's gonna take a little longer, but it's easier to control, and it just seems more correctly sized. So I guess I could have not bought the bigger chisel. Um, I'm probably going to go at it with the little chisel for a while. I'm probably going to stop the video. There's not much to see here. I'll give you an update at the end of how long it takes me and just some tips. And I might even show you how I fix uh, pour this floor correctly the next time. All right, I'll give you guys a little bit of an update. I've been working at this probably an hour or so. Oh, okay, more than an hour, probably like three hours, but not chiseling for three hours. But I'll show you what I'm doing now to fix this problem that I have. All right, so what I did is uh, I actually looked after, I, you know, I found the high spot in the floor with a level. You know, you measure, you basically hold your level out to all spots in the floor and find out where everything kind of comes up to the top and you find your highest spot. So that's what I did. And it was over there by the doorway. I'm not sure if it's on the camera, but basically right here. So I chiseled out all the concrete that was right there. And this whole area um, 
because all this was kind of high. And now I can take my level and basically check the rest of the floor against that. Because the whole floor has got to come up to the highest spot. You can't, you can't lower the high spot. I mean, you can technically, but it's not worth it. You want to you raise the whole floor up to the highest wood spot. So I found my highest wood spot, and if you take this level and measure out, you can kind of see the concrete's still pretty low. I actually need more concrete, so I don't want to chisel it out and put concrete in again. Um, I actually need to add more concrete. So what I did is I, I've got a thing of just little short drywall screws. I don't know, they're probably five eighths of an inch. And um, I'm putting them in the floor. And then what you can do is measure to that you know, you, you measure to your high spot and then you can adjust this screw real fine until it's exactly level with the high spot. Now I've got a marker for where my next concrete pour needs to go to. So, and then I can level off that screw to this screw. And then I can level across to these two screws. And so I'm kind of just putting this grid pattern in and I'm able to put the screws through the concrete, which is nice. And uh, I, I basically, I'm just gonna build a grid of level screws level to the highest wood spot in the floor and then i'm not even going to take them out i'm going to go get some more self-leveling concrete i'm going to prep this all with the primer again even the concrete uh i think you can pour on top of this but i'm going to prep it again with um self-leveler primer and then i'm going to do another batch of self-leveler but i'm going to use a board almost like a screen if you're doing concrete like a screening board or i forget what they're called but you basically take the board and kind of drag your concrete like this um and i'm going to kind of trowel it and i'll have these screw heads to give me um a good idea of how much material i need and when i'm level so i don't want to bury the screw heads i want to just see the top of the screw heads as i'm doing the concrete so i'm going to build that grid pattern back here and all over, um, not a ton of screws, but you know, probably about enough that I can stick my two foot level between them and my four foot in a couple spots just to get really good level. And then that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go get another bag of self-leveling concrete, prep the floor and um, screw it out to these screw heads. And uh, so I think that's about it. I think I've chiseled up just about all the high spot. This was the highest and I maybe have a high spot back here, but I haven't quite got there yet. So honestly, I got lucky I didn't have to chisel the whole floor. You may have a different problem, but what's good for me is um, I'm gonna lay another layer on here. All these wavy, bumpy spots are gonna get covered again and screed it out correctly this time, and I should be okay. Um, and, and that's it, that's my plan. So just thought I'd give you an update before I, I completely finished, and um, that's that's what I'm doing. I'll, I'll show you a video at the end of how it finally comes out, but that's that's my current plan. All right, this is my setup. So I've got a lot of these screws in. Not a lot, but enough. And I've circled most of them just to kind of make them stand out. So I don't accidentally step on them or kneel on them, but um, they're all in. I've uh, prepared my wall for the self-leveling concrete and uh, I'm ready to go. So fortunately, even back into that corner, it's a little bit low. I had to grind a little bit out here or chisel it out. Um, that part right there that says okay, that floor is basically exactly level. So I'm not gonna mess with that. And then under my vanity, I need to bring it up just a little bit. Um, and then even into these wood parts. I'm gonna go get the bag of stuff and the um, primer. I'm gonna prime the whole floor again and then lay the concrete. And um, I pray it comes out better because I, I don't wanna do this again. Uh, it's becoming a pain in the butt, so. Okay, this has been sped up to 36 times speed. Uh, this took me about 45 minutes to do this pour, and um, really I just wound up using a trowel and just the, the little finishing um, wood concrete tool, I forget what it's called. Uh, the, the boards, the screed boards actually didn't wind up working. You can see them there on my right. I, I do try them right here. I try it and it just gets covered in concrete and they wind up being a pain in the butt. So I ended up uh, just, you know, not using them. Um, so anyways, that that's finally how I wound up doing it. Again, this took me about 45 minutes to do this pour and sped up. It only takes about a minute or so, but uh, that, that's how I wound up doing it. I, I really was able to level just to those screw heads 
and kind of see them through the concrete and then I let everything settle and the result actually came out really good. Unfortunately, I didn't take a video of the result, but uh, the the final result was was excellent, way better than the first time and good enough to put my Ford on on. So I was pretty happy about it and you'll see a set of spike shoes I've got there that I had from doing an epoxy project in the garage. But anyway, this is the, the four. You can't really see um, up close, but this is where I was starting to put the four down and it came out really good. I did end up using an angle grinder to, you can kind of see off to the left there to take down just a little tiny bit of the heads of the screws uh, that were showing, but otherwise it came out great. And then uh, this was uh, kind of in the process after we got the floor laid down. Um, it, it was level, it looks really good. And then finally, this was the uh, finished bathroom. So we're really happy with the result. Came out great. Um, pretty upset that I had to go through all that, but hopefully this video helps you not make the same uh, mistake. So thanks for watching. And um, again, subscribe uh, to the channel if you want some more DIY videos. Let me know what you're interested in. And I, if I'm doing a DIY on that topic, I'll try to take out the camera and take some video and um, help you out. Thanks again.